Hey Exiles, how we doing? It is Mr. A2G, back playing some more Saga of Survival. How we going guys? Oh, hey, did not want to be greeted by you, but that's alright. Anyway, guys, this is a patch note update video, so welcome to this one. This is for patch 1.13, the one that we've been waiting for, guys. So, been a long time coming, but we finally got there. Now, the game's not officially updated yet to the 1.13. This is just patch notes, okay? So we're gonna go through it today. I'm gonna to let you know exactly what's going on with it. And um, yeah, so we'll talk about it whilst I'm going through the Cursed Forest. And let me know what you guys think about in the, um, about this in the comment section. I am actually completely pumped for this. Um, yeah, very exciting update. It's a big update, so there's a bit to go through. Hopefully you guys are sitting down. Um, you guys are all uh, comfortable with this one here. So yeah, there's a few things for us to go through, all right? so. I'm going to start off with the first part here, so I'm just going to sort of summarize this. Try and read it word for word as well, if there's um, any sort of important pieces. Just don't want to sort of die in the cursed forest here, but we'll go through it anyway. So, uh, Adventure Quests. So this will bring a brand new type of questing um, that will differ greatly from what we currently enjoy. In order to start these new adventures, um, you'll be, sorry, you'll need to have the treasure map. So it can be obtained in the daily loyalty program. Uh, there will be three new adventures in total and you'll find them within the loyalty program So there's going to be a new system basically and we're going to have that ability to you know go on different type of quests So this is actually really kind of neat kind of cool, you know, finally we're going to get a little bit more um, Involvement in the game. We're going to be able to uh, you know uh, muck about um, go on side quests not having to do you know um, daily grinding or anything like that so that, that's kind of neat um, so each treasure map will open new locations where the adventure will take place um, so these adventures will also have special locations will be for a limited time so don't miss your chance and um, so the same with the regular locations you'll be able to visit them um, in a limited amount of time until it closes so within this cool off period of course uh, movement, speed, deaths, and all other details um, correlate with the general location rules. So if you die in the location, you've got only the cooldown uh, timer to, um, to have the ability to recover your uh, exile's body um, if need be. And okay, so let's just get rid of these guys. Okay, there we go. And I may as well drink up. Have some of this and have some of that there we go okay so um, so during adventures you also face new NPCs and new enemies and new locations be creative with your tactics because some of the quests will have alternate ways of completing them there you go so that's that's probably part one of that um, and then starting from 1.13, we'll have access to the new premium program that will provide you with considerable boosts such as 50, ex uh, sorry, percent experience boost, 25% boost in repair efficiency, and what else do we have there? 50% uh, to faction reputation points, 50% uh, to challenge points, 25 less percent of um, exile um, uh, visibility and 25% boost in hunger, thirst, and HP efficiency, and even the ability to get the smugglers re uh, rewards without watching ads. So, so if you want to throw a couple of dollars over to the developers' um, way, and you want to support the game, um, this will probably be a good um, way of doing it, guys. So, hopefully, they don't change the actual um, the cost structure in uh, doing so. So, hopefully, that will stay as it is. Um, if that's the case, then I think that's going to be a really good option um, if you guys want to invest some money into the game um, just to overall give you a better, um, you know, uh, gaming experience. So more XP basically boosting um, repair efficiency for your um, weaponry and armor uh, challenge points. So if you are into the clan challenges, all that sort of stuff as well will, um, you know, uh, pretty much um, give you... A little bit more than what you would have had so you don't have to work as hard or if you do work hard you're going to get an extra 25% on top of your troubles so why not anyway I'm just gonna kill this bone breaker there we go okay dropped absolutely nothing 
let's just fix this up there we go okay so um, now the boost will be active for seven to or 30 days according um, sorry accordingly sorry alongside to what you currently enjoy now PS now if you've already invested in the um, the current premium reward system don't freak out guys you'll be able to get all of your rewards by the sound of things um, uh, automatically and um, and then you'll be basically placed on the new system so um, we, so basically just sort of rereading it here um, you will instantly receive the unclaimed rewards plus you will receive the new premium program so you get a two for uh, you know two for one type of deal so if you want to drop some money in say today um, you may as well because you're going to claim the, un the unclaimed re uh, rewards right away and then you're going to get the the new lot so why not that's another thing and um, here we go so new challenge chest update so try the new uh, quests uh, and earn rewards easily with our streamlined UI accumulate quest points to get powerful reward chests we've decided to remove the card system and now there will be daily quests instead of them they will be refreshed at 12am um, UTC okay so we are going to get into the next part now this is regarding the auto battle as well so basically we can um, defeat enemies hunt um, you know claim resources automatically without having to you know lift the finger except for just pressing the auto button so from 1.13 your exile will be able to auto uh, collect resources on locations even if there's still enemies um, if enemies attack, the exile will fight back, and when the enemy is killed, he'll continue to gather resources. So it's pretty standard with all um, um, other types of survival games. So I'm glad they actually um, added this into the game finally. So I think that's been one of my little annoyances with the game um, ever since I started playing with it. But you get used to it. So I mean, you know, the fact that they're adding it now, look, it's a luxury. So it's it's good and so basically the only things that you need to make sure you have are locations have resources to collect free slots in the inventory um and the needed tools to collect resources so it's pretty standard okay so so long as you, you you know you have available slots inventory um the weapons required the arm um the um sorry the tools i should say um you're pretty much right to go um, another exciting uh, thing about the auto battle feature is that your weapons, armor, and food, drinks, and healing will be switched, applied automatically as well. So that's awesome. So if you notice when you do um, do the current way of um, auto collect once all the enemies have been cleared out in a zone, you'll have that ability to um, uh, can do the auto mode, but also your exile will, um, providing obviously that you have um, food and water it'll be able to self heal and automate that for you so you don't need to worry about that at all which is amazing that that's that that's something different that no one else has um so if your hunger and thirst drop below 25 points food and drinks will be applied from your inventory if you have them of course same with health um, but healing uh, slash food will be applied if the help uh, sorry health drops below 30 points and i'll just take those claim and claim i might as well grab that anyway actually and i'll drop you off uh in case of the game uh we'll choose the items which restores hunger and thirst the best uh so it'd be from the best first uh firstly so same rules applies to weapon and armor just to give you a bit of an idea okay so uh since you know um uh, now you have new adventures we've decided to add some new rivals uh, for you to make them challenging for this be careful fighting these um, strong and extremely dangerous crease, uh, sorry creatures in the eastern marches so we have ooh, nice perfect uh, swamp goblins dark swamp goblins orcs lava slash giant lava golems ice slash giant ice uh, golems and the powerful spider queen so if you guys recall my previous video um about the npc teasers um that they are basically the enemies that we are looking at um so the orcs uh the golems um so the the lava and the ice golems as well so i was right about um both of them and the spider queen so they're going to be in the new locations by the looks of things 
And yeah, we're gonna have some new enemies to fight. So hopefully they will drop some better loot. That's what I hope. Um, but in addition to that, I digress here. Um, so beware of the locations that will affect uh, your exile with increased thirst and curse points. So um, there's gonna be a bit of a um, an elemental um, you know change and shift in the zones. Now I'm not saying it's going to be all zones, I uh, might be thinking it's going to be mainly towards the, the newer zones, they may integrate this out a little bit later on, um, but basically, um, uh, sorry, again the adventure maps will create some harder conditions for your exiles, be ready for increased curse points while visiting swamps and prepare yourselves for the fact that volcano and lava dungeon will make you extremely thirsty. So it does make sense, which is a good thing. And that just sort of gives us, you know, something more to think about in our strategy, um, you know, strategies of sort of play the game um, in those sort of uh, certain locations. So, yeah, this is basically, you know, increasing level of difficulty for us going into the zone. So it's going to make us put uh, more into our inventory slots. Um, so we're going to have to sort of think about what, how we're going to strategize um, entering these type of zones looting all that sort of stuff so um it all depends on that guy so yeah i'm actually up for the challenge i'm gonna be um yeah it's gonna be a different change and change is good because we haven't had that for a while so that i am happy about as long as i get this bone breaker finished off thank you and let's just quickly heal up one more time okay Take the wraps, Oop. take the wraps, thank you. And okay, so <clears throat> interesting features. Remember you've asked for an option to hide uh, walls in the construction menu, now you have it. We're adding some new levels to the Cursed Forest location. Now realize that it says levels, plural. So it looks like we're gonna have multiple levels to the Cursed Forest by the sounds of things. So that's how I'm taking it. That's my impression on it. So I am super pumped for that. Uh, multiple levels in the Cursed Forest, that's going to be great. And a new dungeon level. So we're getting a dungeon level finally, but we're getting some additional levels in other zones. So that's actually also good. Oop. And yeah, so uh, new undead animation and daily world to program updates. So yeah, they're just a little bits and pieces that we've got there. But guys, that's Basically it aside from the bug fixes basically split, split personality issue fixed uh, Object is too far error fix fix the issue with the factions rewards now you should be able to collect them without any problems uh, Fix the issue when you couldn't upgrade the workstation having all the needed materials rewards in uh, sorry for several several clan missions have been improved and fix the issue with 500 server error while trying to leave the clan um, adventures trousers are now displayed correctly on the player okay and fix the issue where some players on low speed internet couldn't collect rewards after watching ads so basically yeah so just some neat little updates little bug fixes there the ones that I'm gonna um, address right away will be our um, yeah whatchamacallits our uh, new locations, levels, that I am super excited for. I'm not going to lie to you, I'm going to be, I am super excited about that. Um, I'm just trying to think what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to eat all them, delete that, pop that over there. Ooh, I had one of these already. Cool. Let's just quickly repair this. Yes, I know this is probably a waste of hammers, but... I've got plenty of hammers, so I'm not worried. Plus, I need the inventory space. And let's just grab this fella here. I'm not worried about the key. I'm not going to grab that. Let's just do that. And that. And let's re-equip. Okay, anyway, back to it. <coughs> so, yeah. So, Curse Forest, this is probably the reason why that I've um, chosen the zone for today's video. Um, yeah, so I wonder where they're going to add the um, secondary level. It'll probably be like another cave sort of um, setup, just like what we've got um, for the Chieftains, uh, Rocky Spires, you know, the, the Rocky Cliffs, etc. So, you know what I mean. Um, that's basically what I think that's going to happen with the, the dungeon. 
Um, I theorized this a little while back and I still hold by it that where the ooh, there's a few of you guys that's all right you should get this one buffed out but what I was saying basically where the two bone breakers hide sort of in amongst each other in that little corner towards the right at the um, at, towards the edge of the map there that's where I think that's where the second uh, level is going to be so it appears that it's going to be a lava level like a lava dungeon um, if I read that right beforehand in the in the previous part of the notes and yeah so uh, volcano and lava dungeon okay so there's going to be a volcano um, style lava dungeon under the dungeon by the sounds of things that's how I'm sort of taking it as my interpretation on that um, again could be wrong but that's what I'm uh, theorizing at this uh, at this stage so Basically, that's everything with what's officially on the patch notes. Now, for the unofficial side of things, um, we just asked, and sounds like we've got confirmation. Now, it didn't say, or he didn't, or he did, or he didn't say, that we couldn't say anything, so I'm going to say it anyway, so I do apologize, guys, in advance, but um, elm trees, looks like we're going to get them. So... By the sounds of things, we are going to get it in one of, or if not both, additional levels of the Cursed Forest. So, from what we, from what the understanding was, is they should be implemented. So, what I mean by should be, hopefully they will be. So, it's not to say that, you know, we say this now and then it doesn't happen. This, I'm only going by the information that's been fed to me, that we should be getting elm trees in 1.13. So I hope that's the case. I really do because that's going to um, make pretty much everyone happy. I mean, it's been something like that for the longest time. So I hope you guys really, really get excited for that. Um, it's going to help with the progressional stance of upgrading workstations, um, progressing you know, further on into the game because it's a bit of a bottleneck at the moment, as we all know. But for now, um, hopefully once 1.13 drops, we'll know more about it once we get the update in our hands and we'll be able to get into it and start playing it but that's pretty much going to go ahead and leave it for the patch notes today guys let me know what you think down in the comment section down below um guys if you if you are new if you haven't done so already if you've been watching my videos for such a long time hit that subscribe button notification bell because you guys don't want to miss out on the new update when it drops because i'm going to be playing the hell out of it and i know you guys want to watch it so definitely jump on board like comment do all that sort of good stuff for me guys um but that's going to go ahead and leave it for today i gotta to head off to work so i just wanted to get up a little bit earlier and get this all um out to you guys as soon as possible but take it easy i'll catch you next time